Alright, what up you disgusting creatures I call my friends, it has been a fat while since I last did my last like, cooking video thingy, and in honour of me watching more Ainsley Harriet videos on YouTube, I'm just gonna straight up make some of my mum's risotto, cause it tastes good, and I like it. So yeah, uh, so it's not like from a video game or anything, like I usually do, but I figured you guys would probably appreciate this recipe for what it is anyways, which is like what I would be saying. But after I filmed this entire video, Risotto Nero got like announced and released in Jojo Battle R. Like yeah, I know it's taken me this long to like make this video. Uh, please don't judge me for that, like I spent most of my time in the library studying for the past like month and a half. Like uni's killing me bro, I'ma be honest, I have nothing left. But yeah, now my hee hee homeboys, you have the honour of watching me rewrite this entire script to make it seem all Jojo related, even though it really isn't. Uh, so let, let's go, let's squad your risotto time baby, uh, I'm, I'm not adding cuttlefish ink to this to make it black like, you know, risotto Nero's name. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, I've got 2p in my bank account left and like, cuttlefish ink's expensive, like it just is. <laughs> like, I just looked it up, it's apparently like 22 squid for just one jar of it, like I'm not paying for that. Right, anyways, first things first, you gotta chop some onions. Straight up, just chop them all up, however you want, you can dice them, you can put them into little weird like lines that some people do, even though I think you're weird if you do that. Um, and yeah, after you've done that, just, you know, bag them, freeze them, you know, use them for later if you want. Or just eat them like this if you're weird. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering why I'm using a butter knife to cut everything, and the reason is because, like, I'm dumb. Like, I'm telling you this through tears right now, I forgot to pack my good knives when I moved to my new, like, place like my new flat and I kind of like I don't know I'm not doing okay now because of it bro like yeah I'm in therapy for it I'm not dealing well I've been cutting meat up with butter knives for a month and a half please help me but uh speaking of meat it's time to start cutting some carne so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of chicken to mine so you know start cutting that up and I also got some leftover bacon like in my fridge so I'm gonna be adding that to it as well because this is just like an easy meal um, you could also, like, say, because, like, you know, bacon, that's pork, right? We could say, like, this is our version of prosciutto. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, totally planned for this Joe joke. Let's go add some prosciutto into this. I I'm not adding any pesci in there, though. Like, I don't have any anchovies. What do you mean pesci and prosciutto on part of the squadra? Well, once everything's cut up in an oversized pan that blocks half of the camera, just put a little splodge of butter in there. And uh, you can say some sale in there if it's unsalted butter. And just put on a low heat, let it melt, you know. Once that's all melted, move the heat up to a medium level. And then you can just start adding the meats. Let them sizzle for like literally no more than two minutes. And then you want to add your onions. Now I'm pretty sure you guys have noticed that I'm not giving you any measurements this time. Like this is solely due to the fact that risotto is so easy to make. That you can just do it as you- you can make up the recipe as you go along, which is exactly what I did and have been doing for like the past like six years of my life. Uh, if you make too much, you can just freeze it for later, like you can just reheat it. Like it's okay, like I won't tell anyone that you made too much risotto, you idiot, but like, you know, it'll only be our little secret if you subscribe to me right now, which I know you're doing, so, you know, cheers for that. This is a non-negotiable order by the way. Now it's onto the main part of the risotto, which is the rice. We're going to be using a pre-made chicken stock for the same reason as the last time we used a pre-made stock. We are poor students, we are horrifically in debt uni students my boys. So we can't afford to make one from scratch, but luckily these pre-made ones you can get for like £2 in a shop, like, they're pretty, pretty good, still pretty decent. So you know, just fill it with water and mix it up, I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to use these, and just set it off to the side while you grab your rice, and pour as much as you think you'll need into the pan. Like with all your other parts, so with your meats and your onions and yada yada yada. I think I'll be nice and give you an estimate on how much I typically use, because I don't measure it out, but I, I typically put like a quarter of a box of risotto rice in there. So that's probably like 250, maybe maybe 200, maybe 300, give or take a bit, you know what I mean? That's in grams by the way, not kilograms. Don't, don't shove 200 kilograms of rice in a pan, that's a really bad idea. I'm pretty sure all of you guys are smart enough to know that like, the rice will expand as it absorbs the stock we're currently putting in. Now, this is the more important part about making risotto. You want to add the stock in a pretty sparingly way. Like, so what I usually do is I split it up into quarters. I'll add just a quarter of the stock to the pan with the rice and wait for it all to be absorbed by the rice. And then, and only then, 
you'll realize that, oh my god, I just forgot to add all the garlic. Okay, great. Quickly prepare a garlic clove. So, you know, do all the paperwork. Smash it using the heel of a knife and shove it in the pan. Maybe do two cloves of garlic just to be safe. And if you're feeling especially spicy, you can add some chili here. Like, it's totally optional. I personally don't have it with risotto that much. But I know some people who really do like to have it in there. But they're also the same sort of people who put their milk in the bowl before the cereal. So, also, uh, just a side note, if you're really rich and for some reason watching my videos, can you send me some money? Also, you can add some rind into this before adding the stock. Again, just wait until the rind is absorbed into, like, the rice, and then you can add the chicken stock. Um, you can use vegetable stock as well. Uh, I don't like doing that, but you can. It's a totally valid option, I guess. Uh, after all your stock has been fully absorbed in, you can take it off the heat and then just plate up. Like, technically, considering the fact that we mix all of this together, we can say that we reference Mr. in here as well, because, like, you know, Mr. means mixed. Uh, so I heard some people say that like, his name means, like, mixed salads, so we could put, like, a little bit of, like, you know, a little bit of leaf on top as well. But, yeah, you kind of gather, like, this is a pretty easy, like, thing to make. I make this a lot. I make it, like, pretty much every, like, month or so, because, it, you know, it's good. It tastes nice. It's easy to make. Uh, it's probably high in protein, maybe. I'm not sure about that one, actually, but, like, I have it after gym, so, you know. Uh, anyways, do you guys know that, like, Americans call it risotto? Like, they, they don't say risotto, like, it's risotto in it. But, like, they say risotto. I saw, like, a video online on, like, tit uh, Titter? Yeah, on Titter. Uh, on Twitter. And the guy was like, yo, I really like risotto. And I was like, what the heck? Why are you saying it like that? Is, is this guy, like, weird? And no, it turns out, like, all Americans call it risotto. And I'm like, huh? But, like, by the way, like, I, w I genuinely want to know. If any of you guys watch like this way into the video, thank you, you're very cool. Like, what do you call it? Do you call it risotto? Like me, or do you call it risotto? Genuinely want to know. I'm actually genuinely serious about this one. So yeah, just like comment risotto or like risotto, like, whatever. You know, uh, boost up my algorithm, innit? Give me, give me into the big graces of YouTube. But like for me, I'm just like, why are you even calling it like that? It's risotto. Like, are you freaking mocking me? It's an Italian word, so you see Italian pronunciation. Learn a little bit of Italian, putana. Which gives us a perfect segue into the history part of this video, because, you know, I, I do that now. Uh, yeah, risotto, it's practically tied to the introduction of rice into Italy around the 14th century. Uh, specifically, risotto is theorized to have originated in Milan, but no one knows exactly where or who invented it at all. There's uh, a legend saying that stained glass floor, like, you know, stained glass windows, uh, a glass blower for that, his apprentice originally added saffron to it to give it the yellow coloration it usually has in a few recipes. But I am not paying for saffron, like, um, no. Uh, yeah, the importance of this is that it all, this whole, like, theory apparently originated sometime in, like, I believe it's 1570, like, or, like, the 1570s, like, 1580. Basically a long time, like, a long while ago. But the thing is, that doesn't make sense with what we actually know. So, like, theory comes from, like, the 1500s, right? But the actual first known documentation of risotto ever being a thing, ever eaten by real people who actually exist, goes back to the 1800s. It was mentioned in a book called Tratro di Cucina, which, uh, like, the book didn't say, oh yeah, I made this law by the author. It was more of a report saying, hey, so people eat this food. So, yeah, no one actually specifically knows when or who it was made. But, yeah, that's a risotto. It's good stuff, right? Yeah, I know it is. Uh, but you know who else is good stuff? Uh, the wonderful Tear of Grace. Yeah, he's a truly enjoyable YouTuber who serves as a great inspiration to me, and I'm sure many, many others. Uh, he's a highly witty and stunningly unique Let's Player. I guess you could say he's a Let's Player. He makes the funny YouTube game videos, innit? I'd, I'd highly like, recommend his videos, I really think you should check him out. And I'd also re rec recommend, recommend my boy Farron's. Man, this guy is a legend, I can't even lie. He has helped me out so much in the past few days. Like, I, I don't know how to like, actually, properly express how much I genuinely, like, appreciate his help with what he's done for my personal projects recently. So I figured the best thing I could do was to give him like, a shout out at the end of this video about cooking and has nothing to do with any of my personal projects. So yeah, go watch him, he's amazing. Uh, tell him I sent you, maybe, uh, or maybe don't actually. Just, you know, go support Farron's, he's great. Finally, if you're still here, 
Please subscribe to me on Twitch and on YouTube. Oh, please. I need money. Please. Also join my Discord. That's only a half joke. Like, uh, it'd be cool to get shoved into the YouTube algorithm. Uh, because I'd want to be able to afford a pint at the pub. Uh, yeah. I don't actually know how, like, YouTube works or anything like that. But, like, I, I enjoy cooking. I hope you guys enjoyed looking at cooking. And also, like, the history at the end of it. Uh, yeah, subscribe. Cheers, KC. See you all in another year.